I ran into something interesting um, from like a real normie news source. I think it was like Hawaii News Now or something um, about something I didn't know anything about. That's right, the street in my house. I'm going to go look at it now. It's these stones that uh, suppose they're healing stones that were brought here um, by um, Mahus. Uh, Mahu being um, a term for a uh, intergender person, like a. It's almost like what what modern um, trannies sort of want to be known as. Uh, the word mahu is still used uh, when talking about like transsexuals. But in ancient times, there was this group of people in, in Hawaiian lore that uh, were, weren't men or they, and they weren't women. Um, and I've heard a lot about uh, this in regards to Lumeria, which I was talking about last night. So in the article I just happened to run into, uh, He's talking about how these, these mahus had brought the, these healing stones here. And they had Im imbued them with their power, their healing power. Uh, magic. And they had them in another part of the island. Uh, I think they were on Cleghorn's property for a while, is what it said in the article. Or, or he had them moved or something like that. Um, and they were under a bowling alley for 20 years, and they kind of bounced around. They ended up here in Waikiki. Uh, and I've seen them. I know I've walked by them before, but I didn't know what they were. Uh, they're kind of fenced off. They're right by the police station where the bathrooms are. And, um, yeah, i walked by them a million times. But they were brought here by transsexual music uh, musicians, transsexual magicians um, many years ago. And they supposedly have this uh, immense kind of healing power. Uh, and I've never heard anything about it. Uh, there's a lot of stuff like that around here, though, especially like in Chinatown. Um, a lot of the stuff in Chinatown is pretty dark. You know, there's a lot of, like, a lot of dark magic stuff down there. That, that whole place is crazy. Like, I'd like to get back down there sometime just to uh, do an update on it. But, yeah, there's stuff like this kind of everywhere. And I just happened to run into the information. And just it just jumped out. It was just a news story, just a regular blurb in the uh, in the normie newspaper here online. Because I don't, I I can't read words off paper anymore. I tried. I don't know what the hell that's about. I think I've I've been reading uh, digital print for so long that it's jarring. Anytime I see I read something. Or that I just read something. It's a book online. I, I don't, I don't have physical books. Um, I used to, but whatever. That's neither here nor there nor anywhere. The point is, I'm gonna go check out these stones right now and um, just take a look at them. <clears throat> I never stopped at them. I guess they're. I guess you can't touch them. And uh, I mean, I don't know if I'd want to anyway. They say they're healing rocks, but I don't fucking know. I just kind of want to get over by them and see if I pick up any mojo. Because sometimes I can. I mean, I'm not as uh, tuned into that stuff as a lot of other people are. But I usually pick up stuff from people. But I've always kind of did that, even when I was a kid. I used to try to tell my friends about it, and they're like, what? You think you're... You think you're the X-Men? So like, yeah, I think I'm the X-Men, the whole the, the whole fucking team. I'm I'm the But um no, they didn't get they just thought it was weird, you know, but I could get that that sort of what people would call vibe, you know, and, and people experience this anyway. Like just everyone does. Like your boss comes in, <clears throat> you know, and everybody's having it in a good mood. And a boss might come in, he be he he be he be in a bad mood. He'll be in a bad mood. It just takes down the whole feeling of the room. You know, one person's vibrational frequency can suck the whole room. You know, just pull it right out of the whole room. So, so I'm kind of, I can kind of 
pick up that kind of stuff, but never when I'm trying. That's the problem. It's like I'll get it on the bus, you know, uh, and I'll just be like, holy shit. I have to take the next uh, stop and get off because it's uh, overwhelming. But then when I'm trying to, like right now, I'm going to see if I get any, anything, get a ping from these things. Yeah, it never happens. Intent is important. I mean, intent is part of the whole game. You, uh, your will, your intent, imagination, it's all, all little uh, wheels in the machinery that uh, are part of reality control than reality manipulation or reality creation, I think is more what I was reaching for there. So, um, yeah, I should, I don't, the thing is, like, sometimes I don't look enough for, like, the stuff right in front of me, you know? <clears throat> like I said, I've walked by it, I would say, thousands of times now in the past, you know, eight years or whatever. So, uh, let's see what happens. I mean, I'm not expecting anything like dramatic, but uh, I'd like to see if I can kind of just get some some kind of feel or something. I think it's interesting that um, you're not allowed to touch them. <clears throat> Although that's true for a lot of relics here. Like there's a lot of uh, different stones or different monuments, statues uh, that you can't really touch um, or they don't want you touching. <clears throat> so this it's not... It's not unusual, but uh, just for the fact that what they're supposed to be, uh, healing stones, it's strange that they won't let... I get it though, people would be leaving trash on it in a second. You know, here we go, right here, these four. These four right here. Oh, we got uh, this little thing there, let me see what it says. Does it say something? Is there a thing thing? Oh yeah, there's a little, uh, little words there. Stones of life. Legend says these stones are the living legacy of four, four powerful Tahitian healers who once... How's your eyes doing? Who once reside near the site of a place... Okay, yeah, well, I, I can... Well, this stuff is all mine. 1997, the stones were raised onto this thing here. Yeah, so these are them, right here. I don't know what that thing is. <clears throat> um, I don't know. Let me get off the grass here so people make people nervous. I'm gonna go around the front. <clears throat> yeah, I've, I've, uh, <clears throat> I've walked by these things a lot. Top flight security right there. Am I pondering the orb? This is like pondering the orb. Um, yeah, I don't know. Who's, who's to say, man? I mean, uh, I think it's interesting that they moved around so many times. They were buried under a bowling alley for 20 years. It's kind of weird, too. There's so much around here, though, as far as being able to pick up kind of a, you know, a vibe or a feel. There's just so, there's so many uh, vibes in, going on here. I mean, there's very concentrated area so it's hard to really feel like you pick up on anything <clears throat> those are some fucking big rocks though how are they moving those things I mean back then you know back then how are they moving them because like well that goes for a lot of stuff you know that goes for a lot of stuff too like they, they never have a good answer though you know they never have a good answer for how that was this is a police station right here. Right here. It's the only one, the only bathroom open after like 11 o'clock is over here. It's funny because a lot of, you know, people go in there to do drugs and stuff. It's right at the police station. People don't give a fuck. They don't care. Yeah. Interesting though. This is, today is the very first I'm hearing about these things. I'll do some more, uh, oh, there's people taking pictures of it. All right, cool, yeah. So it's kind of a known thing. Like I didn't know, like, 
I'm the uh, esoteric knowledge guy, right? I had no idea. <laughs> Taurus, right? But the Taurus know all about you. Know, it's weird. I don't know. I think I'm here after sundown, like when there's less people around. There's just a lot, you know, it's hard during the day, there's a lot of interference, you know. It's, it's not uh, a good pondering the orb uh, time. Oh, you know what would be a good pondering the orb time? is like 3 a.m. And I've absolutely been walking around here at 3 a.m. many, many times. Uh, so that would be a great, po maybe I'll come out and ponder the orb at, at like later in the evening, you know. I don't know, pretty interesting shit, though. I'll, I'll, I'll learn more about that. I should probably, like, learn more about the stuff I'm going to talk about instead of just <laughs> learning about something fun. I do that a lot, though. Hey, guys, five minutes ago, I just found this out. Check it out. I'm going to tell you all about it. I'm going to tell you five minutes worth of information that I just, I just picked up on by reading a, a fucking newspaper article. Please come to me for esoteric knowledge and occult uh, understanding. <laughs> goofy. It's goofy. Yeah, so the, um, another thing uh, today is that Jason, was it Jason Whitlock? Is that the guy's name? Uh, I'll put it up there. He did this um, great two-minute um, screed about the Jews. Well, it wasn't a screed. I don't know if you could. I, it was really good. Like, he kind of um, encapsulated the deal, which is basically black people are always told that the white people are their biggest problem, but the white people aren't the ones that really have the power, you know? And um, it's kind of strange as it's happening. Like, uh, it's hap if it's happening, it's because they're allowing it to happen. Like the whole Kanye, Kanye, Kanye thing. They're allowing that to happen. I mean, this doesn't have, that do didn't have to be seen by anyone. I mean, he's very much controlled by them. He's, he's, you know, whatever you think about the guy, they have their, they have their hands all up in that guy like, like a puppet, you know what I mean? So, they're allowing it to happen. What I think it is, is it's, um, like I said before, it's like not one group of people can be one thing. There's levels and there's, a, you know, there's a hierarchy there. So it could be one of those cases of letting off the steam, you know, letting off the pressure valve. <clears throat> because people are, are starting to kind of put that together, that whole situation, and it may, perhaps there's some fear there that it could uh, come to them in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a big way, and they don't want that to happen, of course. They don't want that sort of uh, backlash or whatever. So what they do is they throw their sort of underlings or in their, out of their own community, like the guys that are lower on the thing, than, on lower in the, on the pyramid than them, like, all right, we'll throw them some of our guys. You know, they kind of did that with Harvey Weinstein. Uh, and he was two things. I mean, there was the Jewish aspect of that, but it was also the Hollywood thing. Like, they want to, instead of getting a bunch of people, this, this is basically it. Instead of getting a bunch of people in trouble, or the entire group in trouble, they sacrifice some, they just throw, they throw you a couple. You know, so that you'll leave them alone and then the others can go back to counting the money. And I think that's what's kind of happening here. It's a controlled release, like a pressure valve being released. Um, but it's picking up, you know, and it's not that... Me, I, I really underestimated... Um, I mean, maybe that would be uh, considered racism, which is one of their words too. Uh, the uh, it's a Jewish word, but the um, I just never thought black people <clears throat> would climb out of the fucking spell craft, the uh, programming. You know, they they fucked with those people so bad, destroyed their their family unit. <clears throat> they incentivize like people always talk about like oh yeah. Your blacks, your dad always leaves. Well, he leaves because it was, it's incentivized for him to leave. If he's still around, uh, they can't get the money that they would get if uh, the woman was, was single with the kid. I mean, it's just <clears throat> what they did to the regular, just everybody's family and, and what they're in the middle of doing to the white family. Now, they did to, to black people a long time ago. It's almost like they're the trial run for a lot of bad shit. 
So they've been fucked with so long and hit with uh, propaganda, mind control, all the shit. So I, I, it's not that I thought there wouldn't be a willingness to uh, find a greater truth. I just didn't think it would be possible for them to come around and be like, hey, wait a minute. Uh, I just thought there was, there was too much damage had been done, too much work had been done, and that fostered hatred. I mean, you have a guy whose parents tell him, look out for Whitey. His grandparents tell him, look out for Whitey. Nobody's talking about Jews. So, um, you know, like in the case of, of, uh, of Mr. Willock here, I hope, did I just fuck up his name for a third time? He's saying, uh, they're always being told, uh, it's the white people. But the white people don't have the power. And like I said that recently too, I was doing a video about the, the black guy freaking out over at Long's when he went screaming on about white people this and how white, white people don't run anything here. It's like, yeah, they don't run anything anywhere. You're just told that they do. So that if you get upset with something, you don't go after them, you go after Whitey. <clears throat> you know, it's, uh, and, and there is a bit of the Yiddish magic uh, golem thing going on too. And the golem, a lot of people are using that term again now in relation to uh, blacks, but golems are any race. They can have a golem of any color, you know, like I've said before, and it's hard to say, but there's a lot of that going on with the the U.S. military, right? I mean, and, and you know, it sucks. I, I have a military family. I come from one, and my dad, and my uncles, and uh, so it's not to be uh, disrespectful in any way. It's just what it is. Um, they're working for them. They're they're being pushed around the map for their interests, especially when you look at the whole Middle East debacle. Or the ongoing Middle East tobacco that's, I mean, it's been going. That's all golemism. Which I think, uh, I think if that's not a word, golemism, I think I it should be. I come up with words sometimes, some of them pretty good. I just start, just start keeping a log of these brilliant fucking word ideas. But yeah, if anything's, go, if there's any backlash or however big the backlash gets, uh, it's a controlled backlash. But here's the other side of it. As much as they can control it. You know, because now I'm seeing more stuff like this Whitlock guy. We're seeing more stuff like this. Where, you know, a lot of people um, respect uh, Kanye. They're fans of his music. Or they just like his, you know, his views on things. So when he says something, you know... They, they say, you know, people will stop and say, wait a minute, what's, what's this all about? Especially in that community, you know, followers of his. Um, so it's kind of a dangerous game they're playing because they, that controlled uh, letting off the pressure, letting off the steam to keep the, the slaves placated, to keep us from killing them, basically, is they throw us some of their guys like, all right, here we go. Yeah, it was us. Here we go. Yes, we're evil. Yeah, here's a whole bunch of us you can have. So what it points to, again, is that there's a hierarchy <clears throat> in, the, in the group. You know, like a lot of people always say, oh, the Jews, the Jews. The Jews. I know Jews. I got some Jews. They're not uh, getting a check. That, you know, they're not getting their Jew check. They're not, they don't have uh, kids in cages in their basement. They don't, they're not particularly religious. And, you know... I'm pretty sure some of them don't even know much about it. <laughs> They're about as involved with their religion as I was in mine uh, most of my life, you know. So, uh, it should go without saying, but, you know, it's good to just remind people that there is no group of people that work in lockstep with each other. And there are people in different sects of their own group or... or levels of their own group that will throw their own people under the bus to keep their own thing running. So I, I think that's what they're trying to do here, but it's a dangerous game because it's almost like um, 
you, 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 you let the horse out of the barn, but you're trying to make it stay on a track and not run too far or too fast. And I don't know if you can do that. I know they have control over a lot of stuff, whatever. Control the media. But uh, what are you going to do? Like shut the internet down? Uh, maybe. Maybe the, maybe eventually. I mean, I think a lot of people are saying... People are saying... Uh, I think a lot of people have, uh, have talked about that possibility. And at one point, they, they may have to. I don't know. It's interesting to watch, you know. I definitely have my eye on it, you know. I have my eye on several things. <laughs> Don't blame the teacher. Blame the school.